And so today we're going to change the PRV or safety valve on a Worcester Green Star. My slate phone returns. Case off. Next. So next we release this clip. So we did actually pull the clip sideways off its channel. And now, all right, so we've just pulled that the white funnel down further. Clip is out. So that valve should come out now. Just wriggling that sideways and back. All right, so with a little bit of maneuvering, there's the old valve. We'll prepare the new valve. All right, so here's the new valve all looped up and we're gonna insert that now. So there it is, we've just put it in position and we're going to try to just bring that in like so, into position and with the outlet pointing down towards the funnel, we should be able to push the funnel. Wriggling. That should be fully home and we'll try to get the clip in. So the original clip came out like that and we're going to attempt to slide it back in like so. Right, so there's the clip in position now. It should be a question of just pushing it into position. Now to push the finish up back up. Moment of truth. Introduce some pressure back into the boiler. So far, so good. Let's go for the fill. Increasing. No leaks. Okay. So obviously if this was a combi, we'd be taking out the cold water inlet from here to give us that space. But uh, there it is. What's the Green Star pressure relief valve done without taking out the hydraulic block? So here are the tools I used. I use that to pull off the um, the outlet from the PR valve or the safety valve. I use that to access the clip and 11 inch um, angled pliers that of course I use on the firm returns and that simply to get the case off. I didn't use that clip that came with the uh, new valve because it didn't appear to be as good a fit as the original. Job done.